Where to begin, where to begin? Okay, first of all, this is a absurdly expensive hunt. And it will be very, very expensive for anyone who tries to get the one-on-one -on -one ring. And even if they try to get, you know, a numbered soul ring, it still will be... It's not going to be cheap. And Wizard of Coast realizes that they have a bunch of degenerate gamblers who are willing to spend a lot of money buying packs and hoping they pull the one of one ring. Now, I will put a bounty on the one of one ring. I do have the money in escrow. I always have money in escrow of $150,000. If you pull it and you sell it to me, you can videotape, you can do anything you want as long as it gets to me. I will play a bounty of 150000 I think the last bounty was 100000 with a bunch of random conditions to it. I don't care. I just want it. You do whatever it takes, and I will pick it up. Hopefully, you're in the U.S., but whatever. I really want this ring because I'm a big fan of one ones I have spent $5,400 on one box of Prism trying to hunt a Luca one-on-one -on -one black. And that one has a bounty of 1.5 million to it. And there is a lot more prism. I, actually, no, I don't know. Because that was a prism before the big boon. So maybe there's about the same. That was, you know, these boxes, you pay $5,400 for them. You'd be lucky to get $200 out of them. I'm not kidding. I've opened one box myself. And it was just hose town, hose town, hose town. And you might ask, who is buying this stuff? Why would they buy it if they know they're just going to get hosed? Well, I mean, it's a life-changing amount of money if you are able to pull it. it a one of one the first one of one magic card, serial nice number. Now, there might be some, I think there's something called a Zodiac Dragon, which is in a game store in Japan. I believe that's a one of one So in the past, there might have been very limited magic cards before i know there is the look you got a brother card where richard garfield he had his second son and then they gave the cards out to you i think there was like 10 or 15 of them maybe i know that was very limited but there's never been a hyped card that you could get from a booster pack so those cards were given out they were pre-printed they were given out so it's not exactly the same in my opinion now, when you talk about a one of one and you talk about Lord of the Rings, yeah, I want it. I mean, you, you shouldn't. I'm not the only one who wants it. A lot of my friends who are very wealthy, far wealthier than I, they all want it too. At the end of the day, if, if you like Lord of the Rings, you like magic, it is a officially licensed product. It's not like a jank ass product. Uh, you will hunt this card. Now the hunt is only in collector's edition packs. And the uh, prices have got so out of control. That the um, what's going call it. The Amazon has taken down the pre-order because they all sold out. So the pre-order in Amazon at 450 They sold out. Then they hit 5 Then they sold out. I am... Going to get my hands on some of this. And we're going to open it. And we're going to hunt. We're going to hunt for this ring. We're going to hunt for the other rings. You know the soul rings. And we'll see if we're able to get it. Now I will say this. It's going to be expensive. I don't think I should lie to you. It's going to go full on degen. So a lot of you don't know this. Um, I collect other card games like Fire Emblem Cipher. I bought so many Fire Emblem Cipher cards. The Discord channel and the YouTube people, they just hate me. Because they can't get their hands on anything. I think they're all just broke people. Like mentally and monetarily more importantly. And anytime there's a collection, snap by, snap by, snap by. They're, they're just broke. One time they tried to impress me with their collection and their collection was worth, I mean, maybe $2,000, $3,000. I'm like, dude, I have a collection in the mail that's worth more than that collection. And that's nothing compared. 
Like, you guys don't know how degen I get when it's something I really, really want. Because you haven't really seen it in Magic. The Moomion is a pretty degen, right? I spent $5,000 to open Kraken Moomion. That's not normal. But uh, for Inuyasha, for instance, I have behind my back when I'm live streaming, not that anyone knows or even realizes because it's not displayed properly, I have five uncut sheets, including the first set, first edition, which would be in terms of both Pokemon base, base first edition or alpha, right, for magic. And then I have the jungles and the fossils and whatnot. Um, the amount of money I paid for that one sheet, so I have five sheets total, but the one sheet that was Far more expensive. It actually was more expensive than the other four combined. And the other four are not cheap. Was uh, the the first set of Inyaza. First edition. The negotiations to that just... I would make me cry if I didn't have money. <laughs> because it got... I mean, it's a, it's a, uh, to my knowledge, it's a one-on-one -on -one item. And when's the next time you're going to see it? And I love Inyaza. I collected a card game. I... Love the card game. And it's something that I truly... And I also bought a shit ton of, like, Inuyasha first edition sealed booster boxes, which was, like... Mother... I've heard, like... Are they even online right now? I don't think they're online. I don't think you ever went online. Um, Not the first edition with a sticker. I have spent a bloody ton of money. <laughs> Like, an unbelievable amount of money on things that I like in, in the collectible sphere. A lot of you have no idea because, again, so a non-first edition is going for 150 by now. I have a first edition. I have five first edition Tessagas. So they're called Tessagas. I don't even know if a first edition one ever sold on eBay. I'm guessing not. I mean, it's the first time I saw one. So the same guy who showed me the uncut sheets... He also had first edition. So yeah, the non Oh, okay, first edition is 280 bucks, but this one is in really bad shape. It's even worse shape than my worst one. It has like a rip in the front. Yeah, it's got a giant hole in the front for 280. So mine is probably closer to 400, 500 a booster box. And I have like 20 of those. Cuz I paid a shit ton for those. I am going to buy this shit. And I am going to open it. And maybe you guys will have fun. Maybe you guys won't. We'll probably live stream it. The opening. Um, I have to figure out how to. Like my friend wants to open the packs too. But he doesn't want to be on camera. He owns a big energy company. So obviously he cannot be seen again. So we got to figure out. You know how to make him an anime waifu character. He, he would do that. Um, you know how like when he sees the image. It's like an anime waifu. Um. So I have about, when does, when after this release? Whatever time I have until it releases. So I talk to my distributor. We're going, we're, we are spending the entire year's budget on this. Like, I don't think you guys know, like, D-Gen time is now. Um, there are things I own that would blow your mind uh, in terms of, like, anime figures. We never talk about this stuff, right? But I have massive collection of anime figures and I have a massive collection in other card games and other stuff like that. Um, I even collect uh, boats now, like yachts and stuff. Like, not like, you know, full ownership. I, I split it with my friends. And I don't ever use them. So it's not a great investment. No one should call a boat an investment, as I learned <laughs> very quickly. My point is very simple. There are things that I just, you know, when I see in the marketplace, I really, really want those things. And for me, it's this is better than a movie. So the one of one, it's it's just sugar, right? It's like okay, it's it's a dream. But what I want to get is I want to get one of the Elven Soul Rings numbered out of three hundred. I definitely want one of the three thousand ones. Uh, they're only available in collected boosters. I would like to get the Human Soul Ring. I don't give a shit about and Doran Soul, Soul Ring. I don't give a shit about. They don't look cool to me. I would like to get. At least one of the Elven Soul Rings, no matter the cost. That to me is a Moonbrion. If I can get the serialized number one out of 300, I will take it. I would, that would be it. That would be done. If I get the non serialized, non foil, non serialized version, I probably still want to get the serialized version. 
it would be good to get both, but I would want the I would want the out of three hundred. So outside the one of one ring, which I think obviously is impossible for me to pull, I'm realistic about that. I'm going to hunt the out of 300, 300. I don't know how what the odds look like for that, but assuming that like I don't get it because the odds are so bad, I will go for one of the 3,000 non-foil, non-serialized, but it has to be the Elven Soaring. The utility of the Dorvin and the Human for me is only to trade up for my Elven. Now, it would be a lot better if I pulled the Elven Soaring on camera, so that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm definitely going to pull some of these rings. Um, oh, they also come in different languages. Eng English, German, so like, so the English, is there like 300 for all the languages or 300 per language? If that's the case, yeah, that's a, I don't know. What were the odds? Who cares? When you're degen gambling, the odds don't really matter at that point in time. Anyway, wish me luck. Bye, <laughs> guys.